everyone, Maury Curtis Dunbar here. Welcome back to Painted Studios. We are working on Valentine's Day stuff today. Um, I want to say thank you for all of you. You guys have been sending me messages all day. Thank you for all the birthday love. I appreciate it. I even put on a sparkly pink dress just for Valentine's Day. So I'm feeling very, very thoughtful, uh, thought about today. So I appreciate your, your being here. So I need a little sip of my iced tea at the moment. Oh my gosh. I've been working on stuff all day, so I'm going to jump into our project quickly. Oops, something just fell. The comb fell out of the back of my hair. Oh, well. Got to fix that one before it goes into something wet and gooey, and then I stick it in my hair. All right, so yesterday we started our little love letters mailbox, and if you remember, this was one of our... Uh, it was a Christmas mailbox that I just happened to be in Michael's yesterday, they or the day before yesterday. They had them on sale. Hey, Tony! Uh, they had them on sale for 80% off, so a $15 little Christmas mailbox was $3. And since it wasn't etched in the wood, it was very easy to transform. Uh, yes, Tony, you were one of the winners. I need you to message me your shipping information. So please, thank you for reminding me. I have no memory anymore. So I was supposed to message you about that today. So definitely send me a message with your address so I can send you goodies tomorrow. I, I obviously have no memory left. Um, so here's where we are at. Um, I refoiled the front and the back because I looked at it this morning and I realized I, it, this looked more like Chinese New Year's than Valentine's Day, which was awesome. It was really pretty, but it wasn't Valentine's-y enough for me. It looked, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't like, a, I didn't feel like I was aimed at the right holiday. So we redid over the gold. We used our flower, our pink flower power foil. Now, you can't really see it on camera, but especially here, you might be able to catch that there's a little bit of gold still peeking through some spots, and I actually really like it that way. I think it looks very cute, and you'll also notice I haven't done this yet because I don't really know what I want to do with it. So the first thing we're going to do now, I also want to tell you that I put a, a a single layer thin coat of faux effects aqua guard gloss on here because we're going to start putting some one-time use adhesive stencils that i cut out on my cricut and um yes isn't that pretty uh one time you use stencils on my cricut maker and what can happen is the adhesive from our stencil material can cause a dullness to happen on the foiled surface. And I don't really love it. It doesn't, it's not so bad with some, but others it shows worse. And I know it tends to show up badly on the red. So I wanted to make sure I sealed it before I use this, the next layer of stencils. And this will not affect at all my ability to put another bit of foil adhesive or anything else on here. So the first thing we're gonna do is I cut a bunch of stencils. I cut some birds, the little love birds. I cut the love word, more love birds. I cut a bunch of hearts. And we're gonna apply all of these and we're going to apply foil adhesive through them um, because then we're gonna foil more stuff on. And then once I'm done with all of that, if I can find where I put it, at least on one side, I have this happy Valentine's Day cut out in silver to mount on one side of this because I think I'm gonna, I, I actually, my intention is to put the, the love over here and surround it by hearts and then put hearts all over this side and then we put the love over it. All right, so let me flip this down. You can watch me apply stencils. All right, let me turn on my other light too. I hope this one's charged up. Oh yes, it is. Okay. So we're gonna put the lovebirds on this side and I'm gonna push my tripod up a little higher so that you can see down onto what I'm doing because I have to have it um, obviously on its end so that I can put things on here. All right, so the one set of lovebirds was going on the door. I cut one 
smaller than the other because I knew that the door space was going to be um, a little bit smaller. So the next thing I have to do is now, where is my tool? Oh, me and my tools. Where did I put my tool? We're gonna use this. You have to burnish your one-time use stencils so that the stencil material actually sticks to our transfer tape and not just to the backing material. So now I've gotta work on peeling this sucker up and getting it applied. Now you might hear noise outside. There are kids hanging out outside my store, which I'm all fine with, but you know, they're making noise. So if you hear that, that's what you're hearing. Just some of the local ki high school kids. They're all fine. I have a not worried about them. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in my lap a second because I need this down low enough for me to see it too, to put the birds on correctly. No, that's right there. Now I have to peel it off slowly. Where's my, there we go. I just wanted my little scissor to lift that, the backing off. As you can see, I am doing this pair. I'm not pulling my tape up straight. I'm rolling it back because then the tension doesn't pull on this stuff and I get it to lay properly. Okay. So now we've got our little birds on the front. We're gonna put this larger set of birds back here. So again, time to do a little burnishing. transfer tape wants to bubble right there. And this is why you burnish, because those bubbles mean that your transfer tape is not sticking properly to the image. So you need to make sure you get that fixed. Okay, let's try to peel this one off. And again, I am rolling it back. Oh, thank you, Desiree. Hey, Kathy Brown, nice to see you here. Okay, got that laid down. Now I gotta put this again. Sorry for it being in my lap, everybody, but I gotta have it where I can see it. And let's face it, if I stand up, I'm more apt to knock something over than I am to put this down where it belongs. Place carefully. There we go. Pull our transfer tape off, rolling it back, not pulling straight up. I have this funny thing. I hate throwing away the transfer tape because I feel like I just paid for it. I just put it on something and now I have to pull it off and throw it out. I don't know if anybody else ever feels like that, but you know, that's the cost of doing business. Just trimming this down so it doesn't pull funny later on. The adhesive doesn't get caught and rip things up by mistake. All right, so now we're going to take our big old love transfer. And let's see, we're going to put it on this side, I think. Let me trim it down a little bit. Okay, that's trimmed down. Again, burnish. And you need to do it on both sides because that's the way you get the best adhesion to the transfer tape. There we go. Now there 
is a heart that shifted and it's up under there. So now I need a tweezer and I need to fix that. Hang on just a sec. That moved someplace I didn't want it to. Oh. The one thing I don't like that Cricut makes is their tweezers, their pressure tweezers, and I don't like them. Meaning that instead of um, pinching them closed to get them to stick, uh, to, to hold something, you pinch them to hold it open. Therefore, the holding pressure is not well controlled. And I never found that I could get a good grasp on anything with them. All right, so now I've got my lettering corrected. This guy right here. Somebody asked me the other day where you get your ideas, and I like I don't know, man. It's just a lot of stuff rattling around up in there. A little like um, the answer for uh, I don't know if you ever saw Live Free or Dry, Die Hard, and Bruce Willis asked the kid how he knows all this stuff, how to do the hacking. He's like. I don't know, man. There's just a lot of stuff rattling around up there. It's kind of way my, I, I look at my own head. It's just a lot of stuff rattling around up there. Okay, that's on. Trim that down. And then let's throw a few hearts on. Do, 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 do. Now, I doubt I'll get all of the hearts on in one go. I'll probably foil a couple on here and then um, maybe switch up my patterns, switch up my moves on it, switch up my colors. Come on. Peel, you little stinker. There we go. Hang on just a second. I got somebody at the door. Hang on just a second. Can I help you? Hi, can I help you? Sure. Hang on, just let me get my mask. Folks, be patient. I have a customer at the door. Hey there. Hi. They're all $35 each. I make them myself. You might not remember me, but I stopped in with my sister before. Oh! And I've, had, I've had to buy a couple.
Sorry about that, everybody. I, you know, when I have a customer, I'm not even open. My doors were locked, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for waiting. Yeah, customers first. That's that's how it is. They're going to be ordering some of the skull resin candle holders that I've been pouring. I just sent off a couple to New Orleans for somebody who wanted them for Mardi Gras. So I, I'm, I'm loving it. I love the fact that people are loving the candle holders. Okay, so we've got that all on there. We're going to put some hearts on this side. I appreciate you all waiting this out for me while I was dealing with the customer. I thought it was going to be a, a little quicker, but, you know, stuff happens. So let's put one there. Now, clearly, I am randomly putting these on. Um, you can see a couple of them I have paired together because they were so close that cutting them apart wasn't going to make any sense. It uh, was a little easier just to take them and throw them on. And Let's see, I got a couple, mid there's another mid-size one, um, just to kind of duplicate a bunch of hearts, cut them out, go for the random application, and some of them had to be, you know, stuck on each other together, just the way it went. Okay, let's take this one. Those hearts, because I want to do a couple different color hearts. So first we'll do these. Um, we're not going to finish this tonight, not by a long shot, that what you get to do is watch how we apply the foil adhesive. And then we have to let it cure up. And since it's already well after five, I'm just gonna let it cure up until tomorrow and then we'll do more on the live. And I will be back working with the desk tomorrow, I think, hopefully. I've been slowly building up layers of wood plaster or plastic wood to rebuild that table uh, leg that got all dog chewed and that, that does take time. Okay, so we've got stencils all over the place. Uh, and so I'm, yeah, you know what? I, I'm looking what you, some of you are talking about, the Cricut versus the Silhouette. It's whatever works. They're both very similar in the way they work. So if you find that one works for you better than the other, I'd say go with it. Um, Mine is a Cricut maker. I love it. It works for me, but that's not necessarily the case for everybody else. All right, what I'm pulling into here is a friend of mine, God bless her, sent me, just for the heck of it, a bag full of various cosmetic sponges. So I'm using one to apply foil adhesive. But before I do, because it'll give me a little tighter control than a big brush or a roller or something along those lines. Um, I have my foil adhesive here. This is my sticky plate. I need to spritz a little water on it because it was covered in plastic and then it's been open the whole time we were sitting here. So it may have a little skin on it. it may need a little moisture. Yep, it did. a little bit of moisture and I don't mind it when it's thicker like this for stenciling because that works for me now the other thing you've seen me do this before because I'm working on a surface that I'm going to want to see where I've placed things um, I'm going to take a, just a little bit of colorant this happens to be what is this faux, co uh, faux cream color custom blue it's the first bottle I grabbed that I knew would be able to show up against red. I don't want to go too dark. I just want to be able to see where I put stuff. A little, just a tiny drop of colorant in here, maybe a little more spritz of water, just a tiny bit. Okay, so. Uh, now here's the other thing. I'm using a makeup sponge. When you use makeup sponges for makeup, you're supposed to dampen them. Why? Because that helps keep the product from absorbing into the sponge. So literally, I'm doing the same thing. I just moistened the sponge, and uh, now I'm wiping it off. My hands, I don't need wet hands. 
So now I've got a nice damp sponge, and what? here's what we're gonna do. We're going to do one end, and I'm taking it on my sponge, pouncing it on. Now, your, the different sponges will give different textures. This is a very fine poured sponge, so it does not leave um, ooh, a little crud of dry stuff in there. Uh, it does not leave a super textury kind of thing on there. It doesn't leave a lot of marks, whereas other sponges I've worked with will leave a lot of really big highs and lows. And get a little bit of crud on there. And before it dries, you take it off. Now I'm being generous because um, with sponges, I tend to be a little light-handed on the foil adhesive, and yeah, that's bit me in the butt before. So now I've got that on, and the next thing I'm going to do is pull up my stencil. The reason I'm doing this when wet is that if I do it when it's dry, I <laughs> I could very, very, very easily rip up the adhesive from the foil, rip down through the foil to uh, the painted surface. You want to do this, and as you can see, I'm lifting those little spots up with tweezers, not with my fingers. There's a little tiny spot of something stuck on there. There we go. Not, not with my fingers, not with anything else. Why? Because at, that will give me a better result. Now clearly, now that I've just done that, I can't stick this, this end up on its end. So I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive and I'm just going to dab it like that on the door. And the nice thing about creating a one-time use stencil is that because it's adhesive, you rarely get bleed under unless you've applied it badly. And, and trust me, I've applied them badly sometimes and had really like, oh, I'm just gonna slap it on. It'll be a little quick, quick, quick. Oh no. That little quick, quick, quick turned it into a lot of clean up, clean up, clean up because I applied it so badly. Now, I will be applying a high contrast color to this. Don't ask me what it's going to be yet. I haven't decided. There we go, lifting it off. And again, I want to lift and pull in a direction. I don't want to pull straight up. I want to pull parallel because that keeps me from ripping up new foil and it keeps me from making bigger messes. And this is gonna be a very, very subtle pattern on here. But it should be very cute. And if it's not enough, well, I'll just foil over it with something else. There's that. Okay, so I've gotten those on. And let's start with some more up here. Now, I didn't put a lot of color into it because I didn't want to change, A, the adhesive qualities of the adhesive because I didn't want to turn it into sticky paint, which might not release really well. But I also don't want it to become too much of a color change. I just want to be able to see a little better when I want to put my um, foil on top of another foil. go there's one nice 
nice. The hearts are coming out really nicely. And I am actually being extremely careful where I'm putting my hands on this end so I don't stick my fingers into the birds that I just created with the adhesive. this back appreciate your patience with the customer it, I, honestly I closed the doors and locked it but they love my skull candle holders so I'm very appreciative of my customers I never like to turn a customer away you know they're they're what keeps me going between you guys and the customers who come in here, you're what's what my business is. You guys keep me here, keep me creating, and I appreciate you all. Okay, so we're going to put this all over the love. And if I get any bad edges on my hearts or anything... Um, I can do, I can correct it two ways. I can come in with a paintbrush and paint in uh, a little foil adhesive to correct it, or I can just place another image over it and it will look fantastic that way. little spot that didn't have adhesive and it was really close to the edge. Okay, let's get the last little hearts on the sides. Maybe I need a little more moisture in there. I'm using up the last of the adhesive on this plate because that's what I've been using to do this whole thing and I'm just getting the last of it here for today and you know tomorrow by tomorrow I'll need to bore of it we'll just gonna leave my sticky plate out to get good and sticky tonight Okay, so let's peel that off. You know, I can't tip it back because I did the hearts on this side, so unfortunately you're stuck watching me peel the back of something. That took a little bit of finagling to get that off of there. Oh well. Now my fingers are good and sticky, so I need to rub my hands together for a second so when I touch it, I don't permanently stick to it. Alright, now I'm going to tip that back just a little bit and get all the little pieces that did not come out. Like the little hearts.
between watching the adhesive dry and watching me while I say nothing. That's got to be very exciting for you all. <laughs> I'm going home in a minute. My husband has made a birthday dinner for me. I've had flower deliveries today. And I've had phone calls and messages, so I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of it. You guys make me feel very special. And I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so all our patterns are weeded out front and back. I know it's not showing like much there right now, but it'll be showing more tomorrow. Um, I may foil the heart and stuff on here before. Let me flip this back up so we're talking to each other and you're not just watching me wave my hands. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so tomorrow I may have this, this first layer of foils, foiled stuff done and apply the second layer of adhesive so that when I come back on live tomorrow, we'll be watching me actually release some hearts instead of you watching me apply glue, which, you know, might not be the most exciting thing. And hopefully I will be able to get towards the desk. We'll at least get some shellac or something on it tomorrow before uh, I'm about to start painting it. But I haven't gotten that. My, my brain is, I got too much going on today in my head and it's not, not sorting out well. <laughs> yes, those are my those are my flowers back there. Thank you for noticing. They are gorgeous. All right, everybody. It is a little after six. We've been on for a while. I appreciate you waiting out my customers with me. I appreciate your patience and I appreciate you. So thank you, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.